real quick before you go on, I, I don't want this to turn into like a political thing, but this is a, it's a current event. They're changing the names of the bases. They just changed, because you said Fort Hood. They changed it to something else. I think it's... I think it's Cavazos. What is... I? And this seems to be mainly an issue with the Army bases. I don't think... I think it's only Army bases that they're changing the names of. I so, think so my my buy-in isn't as much. I mean, I've been to Fort Bragg multiple times. I spent many, many a night sleeping in the field in Fort Bragg. Um, but where where have you been? What was the name of that base? Oh, uh, yeah. Fort Liberty. Never. There, the the name the way they said that that name came up that they were like this is how it came up it was like uh, we were in a name meeting you know naming meeting whatever trying to figure out what the name was and someone said Liberty and everyone started chanting it that was what was in the news article when they were they released how the name and I was like there's no fucking way that that happened <laughs> can you imagine can you imagine being at a meeting at, at Fort Bragg where you know all the senior folks are there 18 so who's at Fort Bragg. So the 18th Airborne Corps, three-star command, the 82nd Airborne Division is here, and then Sp Army Special Operations is here. So there's a there's a ton of stars here. There's a ton of 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 uh, of big 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 rank, big ego commands here. Can you imagine a rooms of of those or those people or representatives of those people sitting around chanting Liberty? Uh, that is it's that's so, so asinine. It's unbelievable. Whoever whoever came up with that little story is probably the same person that came up with the idea of liberty. So it, it's so not only did they change the name for Bragg, let we let's recognize that there is some merit in not naming your your bases after Confederate war generals. Well, I, we we understand that that's a that was that was a a decision that was made back in the day to to placate. Um, the southern states is that what it, okay um, that's what i was going to ask because i never even knew what the original conversation because i think fort bragg was established in 1918 and so i was like i wondered what the contemporary conversation about that naming you know the name then right was. yeah so i mean that's all you know fort bragg fort benning fort hood they were all named after after southern generals and the the the, the legend is i don't i don't know how true it is i've never actually seen documentation on it. I don't know that there would be actual documentation on that, but my understanding is, is that it was, it was a concession to the Southern States to sort of ease the, ease the sting of, of losing, uh, of, of losing the, the civil war. So, but, but so I, I've been at Fort Bragg since, since 97, uh, did 16 of my 20 years active duty here. And I, um, and then I retired here and, and in all of my time, I have never heard a single person discuss Fort Bragg in terms of its its namesake of General Braxton Bragg, who was named after, who was a con by all accounts a a not a very good Confederate uh, field artillery general. So people identify. My understanding is that people identified Fort Bragg much more with its roots in the 82nd and, and special operations than they did with its roots in some sort of Confederate lineage. Right. So I, I don't, I don't think that, 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 that the argument that it, we should rename it because it, it hurts people of color or marginalized peoples. Cause I don't think there's any merit in that. I don't, th I've never heard a, I, I, I know many marginalized people and people of color that have lived and work and, and, and have a, a, a real connection of Fort Bragg have never brought up the fact that Braxton Bragg uh, is, is the namesake. So, so it, it bears no, it bears no merit in, in my mind. And maybe there is, maybe there's a small percentage, but I, I just don't think it's certainly not worth the money, the $27 million that it cost to change it. And, and, and the logo and, they made was horrible. Like the gate, oh, the gate brother, sign. The, that looked yeah, like they got a graphic designer off Fiverr, you know, that is the worst thing. And when you, so you, you've seen the pictures of it, <laughs> when you see it in person, it's like cheap plastic. I mean, and it like, it looks like it's ready to fall apart and they just unveiled it. That's it crazy. is atrocious. It's and they probably paid bad. a crazy amount for it. Listen up. If you need graphic design work, jkramergraphics.com is the place. <laughs> Hit me up. That was some garbage work. I got to done a better logo for him than that because, but yeah, horrible. I just wanted, you mentioned, you know, you mentioned Fort Hood. So I just wanted to get, you know, I guess we're the retirees we were just talking about, but you know, I, I honestly didn't even know that they were named after Confederate generals until the whole controversy came up. And I was like, Oh, really? That's like, the point. I was yeah. like, Oh yeah. I was like, you see, so I, but I also, I get, I completely get the people that were stationed there and they're like, it'll always be Fort Bragg. It's like when, 
I was at Lejeune. They came out and they're like, it's, they tried to make a change or like, it's actually pronounced Lejeune. It's John A. Lejeune. Someone, someone started pronouncing his name incorrectly at some point and it caught on. And they were like, from now on, it needs to be referred to as Lejeune. Like it was like a whole thing. And they were putting signs up. Like, this is how you say it. Like when you go into the PX or whatever, this is how you say honor the man, John Lejeune, you know? And like, Everyone that's ever been stationary is like, I'm never going to call it that. That's not what it's called. Like it was, it's called Camp Lejeune. You know what I'm saying? And it's, I, you can I try all you want, will, but yeah, I, I don't think I will ever call Fort Bragg anything other than Fort Bragg. If for nothing else, that's because just by muscle memory, that's what I've been saying for 25 years. Yeah. So I just don't know. I just don't know. And, and Liberty, the, the name Liberty is so bad. At least the other installations, they got new names for sure. And, and 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 there there is I mean we had a massive pool of Dude. legitimate heroes to to pick from so many and, but so so I think the problem was is you got a three star airborne command and a three star special operations command and they butted heads and they couldn't decide on one so they went with liberty I, I just that's a total cop out pick one I, I can't I'm, if you'd have picked an airborne guy, I can't imagine too many soft guys would have been too pissed about it. Same thing if, if it had been like Roy Benavidez. I mean, that guy is a, he, by the way, all special forces guys are airborne. So you kind of tick both boxes. So it just, it has no merit in my mind. Yeah. It's pretty wild. It's funny. It's, I mean, and how much of that, you know, millions of dollars spent on that could have been turned around and, and used for like troop welfare improvement of like facilities or something. You know what I'm saying? Like and, and, there's so much Bragg stuff. has been, yeah, we've been under the gun for the last couple, about a year now, for really bad mold in the barracks, mm. like really bad. And uh, and and the 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 seniors sort of kind of brushed it under the carpet. And dudes were leg- like, dudes were pissed and and legitimately had a grievance there. And it's like, and they were like, well, you know, we're working on it. And, and they completely inconvenienced the Joes that they moved out of the barracks, made them move like you know in the, in the dark of the night and 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 to complete inconvenience. And then they dropped 27 mil on new signs and new signs. They, like they didn't just rename Fort Bragg the installation. They also renamed like, like 13 streets on Fort Bragg mm. because they had, they had connections named. So like, it's, it's a fairly significant investment and, and that's going to cause and, some and, confusion for a little bit. Well, but it's funny because my, my GPS updated before I even, I even realized they changed the names. I was like, what is that? Like, so but the the point on that whole thing is is that to what end? To what end? Did, 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 have we ended racism? Is that a legitimate step towards ending racism, or are we just keeping it up? Are we just shoving it into everybody's faces? I, I would much rather see authentic leadership addressing the legitimate issues that are present, mm-hmm. not renaming bases, because I don't think that gets you off the X. I I I I think it's it's actually counterproductive because what it does is now that creates this narrative. Of that we are now talking about it and we are not talking about real issues yeah so it's like okay good we we haven't solved any problems you just created new ones we can talk about and 100%. then we can campaign off of so congratulations everyone congratulations yeah i'm i'm with you man there were so many so many names that could have been chosen fort bragg being changed to, to liberty was uh particularly egregious so i did want to discuss that so you were you were a uh armored cav guy how was that for you very cool. I, I I came in at just the right time. I, I showed up to my unit. I was in the third brigade down in uh, down in Fort Hood, and um, uh, we were just transitioning. So we were in the middle of a couple of key events. We were getting ready to go to a gunnery. So in in the armored.